Okay, in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to um, change your hotkeys. Okay, so for setup um, in our input map here, you can see in our project settings in the input map tab, I have a bunch of uh, things I've added and you can edit whatever you want, add whatever you want, but I'm going to use um, inventory. I'm going to, I'm going to change inventory. So at the moment, the action is E and the event is called inventory. So that's important that you distinct or that we understand the distinction between those two. So <clears throat> this is the action and this is the event that we're going to be editing. Okay. It's called inventory. I'm going to copy this and make sure that it's um, case capital. So that's very important. Okay. So the first thing we're going to add is I'm going to add this function right here. So this is a process function. It's going to basically um, call input map dot action get events. This is going to get all the events of our inventory. Um, action event. And as you can see on the bottom, it's going to be printing. It's constantly printing, but that's okay. Obviously you wouldn't want this in your game, but just for the sake of testing what the actual key is, that's how we're going to do this. Okay. To change this, um, the way I figured this out is if you click control and go on input map or action get input uh, events, you can go here and it'll open up the documentation for input map. And you can see all the functions here. In fact, I would recommend that you do this because these are very um, useful tools because the way I do this might not be the same way you might want to do this. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to create a function called or not create, it's already a uh, built-in function. It's called input uh, and pass through event. The reason why is because we're going to need the event. We're going to try to find what event this is. I'm not going to add any if statements. You can do that on your own time. Um, you're going to have to edit everything on your own. But what we're going to do is we're going to basically erase all the actions that we have in the event inventory. So we're going to action erase events in the inventory. So we're going to erase everything. There's events and then there's event. Um, we're going to erase all of them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a new one. We're going to action add event to our inventory, the event that we actually just did. Now this will add any sort of event. So if I move my mouse on the screen, it'll add it. So just watch if I, you can see here as I move my mouse, it's starting to freak out. But uh, the way we can test that this actually works properly with our key keyboard is if I click Q, it now changes inventory to Q. So as you can see, we have Q there. And if I go back to the game and click I, right? I e now inventory now became I. So that's how we change a specific uh, input map for our game. And you can create this or you can kind of edit this however you want. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see a full or a complete video on how to have a, a full uh, interface on this and actually have buttons and be like, okay, click, click this button and then we'll change it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but for now, this is good. Um, I've shown you guys the functions that you need to do this with. Um, I've shown you the um, documentation that you would use for that as well. It's very useful. And hopefully you guys can kind of figure that out on your own. So if you guys like this video, like and subscribe. Um, I have a bunch of links in the, in the description down below. You should definitely check out. I have a Twitch that you should check out. I have um, a Patreon that you should check out. And most importantly, I have a Discord. I would love if you guys join my Discord. That would be great. If not, um, well, you're lost, I guess. Um, and anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.